Channel Forum. Welcome to this okay, week's auspicious like video. Video, video, video blog. This week we're going to talk about Agile and DevOps. So we hear the term DevOps a lot and also in relation to Agile, but the question is what does it mean? There's a lot of mystery around that and it's not necessarily clear exactly how these things relate and uh, if they work together. So let's take a look see how Agile and DevOps work together. We always start with our user, our customer. We have some concept that we want to get into the marketplace, so we want to get that to become cash, to become value. This is the concept, the cash cycle. Now, to get that from the users to our development, people developing the product, usually technology, but could it be otherwise? And through operations and operational lives, Agile gets us from the user's development DevOps gets us from development and into operations where we have something that can actually provide value to a customer together, things move very quickly. Now, what is actually included in DevOps? Well, DevOps has multiple components. Here are some that you may find. There's some case studies that uh, have some good uh, coverage on this. Uh, this one was from the uh, Scaled Agile uh, website, Scaled Agile Framework. And it talks about, first of all, the source code control, strong source code control. We have automation of software, software automation, and we're automating software. Early and often, we're testing, so we're frequently putting things through and testing them. And we're delivering in small increments. This is illustrated by the Lego bricks. Small increments of delivery. We have the ideas of continuous improvement, or in a lean, or process we would talk about that is Kaizen, continuous improvement. And we have cohesive teams, teams that are working closely together in order to produce value, in order to get product out and to the customers, the market. But wait, this probably sounds very familiar to you, especially if you are somebody who's an Agile practitioner. Why? These are actually very similar to XP and Agile engineering practices, which probably many of you are practicing familiar with. So in XP, we have test-driven development for TV, for instance. We have small releases, again, that small incremental and iterative approach that we're able to use. We have continuous integration, where we constantly are having something that's ready to build and deploy in terms of our code. We have the idea and the concept of a whole team where customers are working closely with developers and everybody is working closely in that process of developing a product and coding standards where we have a set standard for our code and that helps us to have higher quality and we are able to develop and deliver better. There are other principles as well but you can see how closely these parallel the principles that you have in DevOps. So XP and Agile Engineering, those practices plus the ability to not only do that, but also to operationalize, to launch this thing, to get it out to people where it's producing value, the capability to operationalize, add those two together, and with that, you get DevOps. The ability for us to develop and operationalize products and software very quickly, very fast, get them to the marketplace. Let's look back at that big picture again, and let's take a look at how all of that came together. So we have a concept, we want to get it out to cash. We have our users and development bridged with Agile and DevOps bridges Dev and Ops together. So with that, we get constant cash quickly. So hopefully we demystify just a little bit, a little bit what DevOps is for each day and giving you a better concept of how these things work together and with Agile practices. So until next time, stay Agile and thanks for listening.